Welcome. We'll take a look at page five from our semester two uh, exam. Um, all of these are done in separate pages, as a reminder. Uh, number 22, the beginning of page five, asks us to write the first five terms of the sequence. Um, assume n begins with one. So I'm going to do this just on the front of the calculator. There's some other sneaky ways to do this, but the first term would occur when, when n is one. So it's just seven times one-fifth to the first. Seven times one-fifth to the first is just seven-fifths. And then each term after that, I'm going to multiply by an additional one-fifth. Every single time, my ratio becomes one-fifth. So times one-fifth, this would stay seven, but become twenty-fifth. Times one-fifth, this would become seven, remain seven, become one hundred twenty-five. And that is probably enough to get us in the ball game here. Um, this has those values, but the first term is when n equals 1. So 7 fifths, 7 twenty fifths, 1 25 times 1 fifth, times 1 fifth, I'm buying A. All right. Um, you might recognize this is just a the kind of drawn out way to write a permutation. So you'd have a an advantage to this, you could do it with permutation, which we're going to take a look at on a, at a later point on, this, on these practice tests. Or we could just go ahead and go a factorial for most of us. We can get through alpha window divided by all of 3 alpha window factorial times 8 minus 3 alpha window factorial, and notice I wrapped the entire denominator in parentheses, and I've got 56C. Alrighty, let's move on here. Okay, this one, there's a formula for this, nice formula. This is a frog on a log problem where every single time um, I'm jumping my ratio is less than one. The frog jumps only one sixth of the distance it jumped before. So, however, the tough part is we're going from one to infinity. The formula for these frog on a log problems that we've referred to is it's the, the infinite sum is the first term we get over one minus the ratio. <coughs> the first term we get when k is one is nine times one sixth or 9 sixth over 1 minus the ratio. The ratio is 1 sixth, so let's see, I get 3 reduced by 3, 3 halves on 5 sixth, or 3 halves times 6 fifths, 18 on 10, or 9 fifths. Now, sneaky way you could do it, <coughs> excuse me, is we could realize those jumps are getting shorter fast. They're going to get close to zero pretty quickly when I'm dividing by six every single jump. And I could just use my summation. Let's see, that's alpha window summation. And I'm going to go from x equals one to, I'm just going to go to the 20th. I'm only going to do 20 jumps versus infinite number of jumps. And I get, let's see, I get nine times 1 divided by 6 raised to the x. And I'm only doing the first 20 jumps, and I get 1.8, which is 9 fifths. <clears throat> it's true, truthfully not to 1.8 yet, but it gets there so it's so close that it's just rounding to that. I'm going to try this just for illustration purposes. Let's back up and let's just go... What if we did the first 10 jumps of the frog? And we see even after 10 jumps, we are virtually at 1.8. So we get there pretty quickly. Um, that would be a sneaky little approach to this problem. Okay, find a formula for the arithmetic sequence where we constantly add by the same amount. So I end up, after, after to, by the sixth term, I make it to 18. I started at 3. I started adding the common difference, <coughs> excuse me, which every 
arithmetic sequence has, a common difference. How many times do I add the difference? Well, how many steps is it from the first term to the sixth term? It's five steps. So let's see, I get 5D equals subtract 3, 15. D is 3. So if I want to get to the nth term, I'm going to start at the first term, 3. I'm going to start adding 3, the difference. How many steps is it to the nth term? n minus 1. And let's see what we've got here. I have a 3 times n minus 1 plus 3. So C is it. Find the partial sum. This, this is most definitely calculator friendly. So I'm going to clear this. I'm going to go alpha window, get my summation, have x go from 1 to 36 as we have 7x minus 3. That's a definite hug your calculator moment, 4,554. Okay, find the nth term of the sequence with the following properties. The first term, and it's geometric, so common ratio, there we go. To find the Find the nth term, the seventh term, A7. We're going to start at the first term, one-third. What do we do? We start multiplying by 4 over and over. So that's 4 to a, raised to a power. How many steps to get from the first term to the seventh term? Six steps. So I just get 1... In fact, I'm going to do it this way. I'm just going to go 4 to the 6th, and I'm going to divide that by, or multiply it by 1 third, or divide it by 3. And that's probably as a fraction, so we will go math fraction. And we get 4,096. Am I looking at the at the right one here? I think so. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the. I was looking at the wrong one. There we go. Four thousand ninety-six on three. I heard you guys yelling at me. I was able to figure that one out. Okay, and then another very, very calculator friendly one. Here we go. But entering it in your calculator has caused some people some problems on this. So let's go ahead and go alpha window um, summation x equals 1, quit, x equals second, enter, sorry, back that up, x equals 1 to 6. Now, if I put 1 sixth in here and the x outside, I don't get the correct answer because it thinks that x outside here, it thinks we should do all the summation first. So I'm going to put another set of parentheses in here. I'm going to go 1 divided by 6, raise that to the x, See, the argument that's going into the summation starts at this parenthesis, ends at that. If the x is outside of it, the x is outside the argument. So there we go. I'm going to math fraction that. I don't think it's going to like it. Doesn't like it. And so what I'm going to have to do now is go back and take a look. But this is about 0.2. And 9 divided by 40 or 45, 4.5, think of it that way, would go into 9 twice. I think there's a chance. Here, I don't think that's it because this is much bigger than 0.2. It's most certainly not those, so I'm just going to take 93.31 divided by 46, 6.56. And sure enough, we have A. So there is page 5. Stay tuned. Let me know what I can help you with.